What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Pokey Office. My name is Colin. It's official. Scarlet and Violet 151 has been out for a month, and you're going to like the graphs if you are into this set. If you're ripping the set, there's tons of valuable cards to pull, lots of green on the graphs, which is amazing. In my opinion, it makes it so much more exciting because when I'm ripping packs, like I want to be able to pull some value, which has kind of been lacking in Scarlet and Violet so far. So really excited about this one. Before we get to the data, uh, I had a giveaway going on last week for four packs of Lost Origin. Lucky winner is Jess M9504. Congratulations. Uh, see down below in the description for some details on how to contact me with your address and stuff so I can ship those packs out to you. Now, for this week's giveaway, it's going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm rapidly approaching 5,000 subscribers, which is blowing my mind. Thank you all so much for subscribing and hitting all the buttons. Like It means a lot to me. Uh, so, until my 5,000 subscriber, this giveaway is going to be going on. I'm giving away this bad boy. A 151 Ultra Premium Collection to one lucky winner. So from now until I hit 5,000 subscribers, uh, just comment and like and share every video that I come out with until 5,000. That's going to get you multiple entries. Um, so thank you so much. Let's get to some 151 data and see what's been going on over the first month of this set. Okay, so starting off with the Elite Trainer Box, kind of the main way to get packs out of the set, in my opinion. This one started $49.83, and now it's at $53.86, so up 8.1%. Uh, these, in my opinion, have been hard to find and hard to come by at like a reasonable price. Occasionally, you'll walk into Walmart or GameStop, and they've had a restock, and you can get them, but they fly off the shelf where I live pretty darn quick, so definitely 151 is... Uh, getting expensive and getting hard to find though i would be shocked if there wasn't a reprint coming of this set uh, because it's so popular and it's bringing people back and i was talking to some people today and it's like is paradox rift really going to be the next answer after 151 probably not the timing seems to be a little bit spotty the shiny set that was just announced coming out in like january february ish is uh i mean it's just reprints of the old cards out of scarlet and violet so far with new skins on them so i don't know how that's gonna work and obsidian flames has like not very much value to add to the conversation so 151 i think is going to do really well over time is what i'm saying in this mini rant also i didn't tell you but all of these graphs are one month long because it's been out for one month so next we're looking at the pc exclusive elite trainer box this one is expensive right away because if you didn't uh, pre-order this like within two hours of it dropping on the site, you didn't get one, uh, which is unfortunate because I really wanted some, but I didn't get any. So anyways, this one uh, started at 106.35. Now it's down to 104.37. So not a ton of movement. It's down 1.9%. But these uh, Pokemon Center Elite trainer boxes, especially like the specialty set ones, seem to be a big hit. The same with the Crown Zenith Elite trainer box pluses. They did really well as as well. Next, we're looking into the Ultra Premium Collection, uh, and this one actually hasn't been out a month, so this was still kind of like the pre-order pricing at the start of this graph. Started at $128.84, now it's down to $106.91. I'd expect if you're looking to buy this, you're going to pay anywhere from like $100 to $115. Anywhere in that range is not too, too shabby. It's really cool. It comes with the play mat, comes with the 16 packs of cards, comes with your three promo cards, including that metal gold Mew, which is an absolute beauty. The Mew EX Special Illustration Rare is an amazing piece, and the Mew 2 Illustration Rare, also awesome. I love it. Uh, the Ultra Premium Collection. I don't know. It didn't feel ultra premium to me, but I also loved the fact that you just get 16 packs of 151 instead of like other Scarlet Violet packs like the Charizard box came with. <clears throat> Next, this is probably the best way to get packs, but these are impossible to find. I've tried to buy lots of them and they're just like, you can't get your hands on them um, from stores or anything. This uh, started at $42.37. Now it's down 3.2% to $41.03, which comes out to $6.84 a pack. Now, if we look at the regular loose booster packs, they're at $6.21, which is a little bit cheaper than buying the mini booster bundles, but you're also buying loose packs rather than like a sealed uh, group of packs. So up to you. Um, and Scarlet and Violet 151 is expensive. Like it's just hard to find. 
Uh, it's a specialty set. It started out expensive and people are loving it, which is equating to these cards actually rising in value, which we're going to see right now. Tons of green on the grass, but we're starting out in the red with Giovanni's Charisma. Actually, one of my favorite artworks of the set is absolutely amazing with the Master Ball in the background. Persian and Giovanni and him holding a Pokeball. I love it. But uh, this one started at $11.87. Hit a high early on of $17.90. Now it's down to $10.44, a 12% drop. Next, we got the Poliwhirl. This one is increasing. $8.25 is where it started on release day. Now it's at $10.98, though it did spike up there one, one time early on. Uh, up to $16.46. Next, we got the Alakazam EX uh, Full Art, or Ultra Rare, as they call them these days. $7.56 is where this one started. Now it's at a market price of $11.14, which is a 47.4% increase. Really, really nice. Then we got the Psyduck. It seems like all of the illustration rares, for the most part, are doing quite well. I mean, there's a few outliers, like the Caterpie and the uh, Mr. Mime, that are not doing great, but these... Uh, all the ones that are in this presentation are doing really, really well. Psyduck started at $6.54. Now it's up 72.2% to $11.26 market price. Really nice card. Then we have the Zapdos EX Ultra Rare up 30.7%. It's currently sitting at $11.80, which that's a really nice one month graph. It's just increasing, increasing, increasing. Kind of crazy. Then one that I didn't expect to see a big drop on, but it did. Erica's Invitation, the ultra rare version of it. And this one's down by almost half. Started at $26.05. Now it's at $13.50. Okay, moving on. We got the Dragonair, another gorgeous card, uh, but this one's actually down a little bit as well. $15.59 is where it started. Hit a high of $17.60 about a week ago, and now it's down to $15.19, which is a 40 cent drop. Then we got the Nine Tails EX Full Art, a really, really nice graph. Started at $6.22. Now it's up 146%, $15.31. I've said it so many times, but the cyan color there of the outline of these Pokemon on the Full Art cards look absolutely amazing with the contrast of the background. I love everything about it. Love, 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 love it. Uh, I also love this Pikachu. Uh, I didn't even include an up or down because it's down by eight cents. So it's not a ton of movement, but started at 1557. Now it's at 1549, even though it did recently just hit that high of $24 and 82 cents. So I don't know what happened, but I checked the recent sales on this card. They're all kind of in that 15, $16 range. So I don't know why it was spiking so much on TCG player. Next up, we got the Venusaur EX full art. It's at $10 and 26 cents last month. Now it's at $18 and 14 cents. Another really nice graph. It's up 76.8% in the market on TCG player over the last month. Then we got the Ivysaur illustration rare started at $12 and 57 cents. Now it's at $18 and 49 cents, a 47.1% increase. Then we got the Blastoise EX ultra rare $12 and 63 cents where it started. Now it's at $20 and 81 cents, which is a 64.8% increase. Are you seeing a trend here? Tons of these cards are like up over 50%, which is absolutely mind blowing. And these graphs are absolutely looking stinking awesome uh, because they're just up. And like for me, when I want to rip into packs, when I want to get excited about a Pokemon set, I want there to be some value that I can pull. And we've, we're only halfway through this presentation and there's like literally tons of Pokemon cards that I can pull out of 151 that are going to get me my money's worth on that pack or more, which is absolutely amazing. Love it. Let's carry on. We're moving with the Charmeleon illustration rare doing really well. All of the starters and the evolution lines are doing really good, but this one, $12 and four cents is where it started. Now it's at its high of $20 and 82 cents, a 72.9% increase. Then we got the Mew EX, uh, Ultra Rare started at $20.87, was kind of sitting at that $25 mark for a little bit. Now it's dropped back down, but still up 1.4%, currently sitting at $21.16. Then we have the War Turtle. Uh, man, the blues in the Squirtle War Turtle Blastoise line are ridiculously awesome. Like they're so deep. Um, the hue is ridiculously awesome. I love everything about it. This card doing really well. $11.55 is where it started. Now it's at $21.40, an 85.3% increase. Ridiculous. Then we got the Squirtle, another absolutely beautiful card. 
Started at $11.27, currently at $25.10. That's a 123% increase. And then we got the Bulbasaur uh, doing really good as well. It started at $8.69. I thought Bulbasaur might be like the outlier out of the three starters where it wasn't doing all that good, but nope, it decided to do really good up 221% to $27.89 is where it currently sits. Then finally, I, you kind of expect Charmander to be the number one starter just because Charizard is like the most popular Pokemon ever. So this one started at $16.79. Now it's up to $28.62, a 70.5% increase. Then we got the Charizard EX Ultra Rare, a uh, really gorgeous card as well. Started at $25.11. Now it's up 18.2%. So not a huge increase here, but still uh, that's $4 up it's currently at $29.67 hey before we carry on I wanted to tell you that TCG and games actually partnered with me to bring this uh, giveaway to you for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway the 151 ultra premium collection so go support TCG and games.com use the promo code the pokey office for 5% off your next order they're getting uh, the crown zenith reprint happening shortly you can pre-order paradox rift there's still some 151 available lots of other goodies and you can get 5% off your next Pokemon order at tcgandgames.com. Using the promo code, the Pokey Office. Make sure to go support them. They're amazing. And that's where I buy most of my product from as well. Let's get back to the data. Okay, we're getting into the big cards here. Erica's Invitation starting us off. The Special Illustration Rare version. Not one that I expected to be on the downward trend. Because in Japanese, this card is still very valuable. But this one started at $51.16, down 30.8% to $35.38. Still an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous card. Next, we have the Alakazam EX Special Illustration Rare. Started off at $33.35, hit a high of $45.50 right out of the gate, and then has kind of come right back down to where it started at. Now it's at $36.26, an 8.7% increase. Then we got my chase card, the Zapdos EX. Uh, $47.55 is where it started. It's actually been trending down a little bit, surprisingly, uh, down 13.4%. It's currently sitting at $41.17. Then we have the Venusaur EX Special Illustration Rare doing really good. Started at $37.22. Now it's at $46.04, a 23.7% increase. Then we have the Blastoise EX. Uh, doing really well. $38.84 is where this one started. And then it has spiked up, um, hit a high of $60.03 not very long ago. And now it's at $54.82. So a really nice pull. It's up 41.1% over the last month, which leads us to the last most valuable card out of the set, the Charizard EX Special Illustration Rare, flying over the volcano. Love, love, love this card. Started at $106.94, hit a high of $132.72. It did really quickly drop below $100, but not for long. And now it's kind of holding in that $110 to $115 range, currently sitting at $113.26. Let's see if we can pull some special illustration rares. I got 10 packs of Scarlet and Violet 151 to open. See you on the flip side. Okay, so let me know what you think. Uh, I am loving 151. Easily my favorite set out of Scarlet and Violet. And it's becoming my favorite set of Pokemon of all time. Especially since I got back into the hobby. Like uh, halfway through Sword and Shield. Um, I mean, might not compare to like base set or fossil or jungle. But I don't have the finances to open those sets right away. So <laughs> uh, 151 is going to have to do it. And it is seriously crushing it. I love opening it. I'm not bored of it at all. Uh, so let's see if we can get some special illustration rares here. Um, that would be fantastic. Uh, definitely want that Zapdos. I would love to get all three of the starters. I actually made a trade after my live stream last week um to get my hands on a copy of the charizard so that's pretty sweet sitting in my collection um but definitely definitely want the blastoise and the venusaur uh, i have the japanese version of the erica's invitation super art rare or special art rare or whatever it's called um, so definitely want to get my hands on the english version of that card as well um and then like i would love to have all the all the evolution lines i mean i just love this set charmeleon there we go baby that is what i'm talking about that is exactly what i'm talking about come on come on that is looking really really nice i love love it 
I mean, I like Charmander better, but this is still ridiculously awesome. That's a nice start. A very nice start. It's like, what, a $20 card, I think, is what I said. Uh, I'm already too excited about it to remember what that card's worth, but really, really epic. Love this set. So fun. And there's just, I've said it before, there's something to be said about the fact that I know all the Pokemon. Like, nothing is a surprise, which makes it a little bit more awesome. Look at that Marowak. I love the artwork. I've also said this a million times, but how many times has Pokemon made you stop and, like, marvel at the artwork of a common card? And this set makes me do that. There's an energy with the hollow pattern. Those are actually, like... I've seen them selling for like 50 cents each, which if you add those up, the amount of them that you get, it's not that bad. Yes, sir! Zapdos EX, baby! Yes, that is the chase. Oh my goodness, that is so sexy. Ah, oh, man. The heart is racing. I love it. Is it a little off center on the top to bottom? Maybe, um, but it's looking pretty darn nice pretty darn nice followed it up by the Gengar oh man today is a good day look at that bad boy unreal Oof. Oof. I love it oh my goodness now like the videos already made the videos already made anything extra on top of this is just juicy but uh that is amazing. Another hollow energy. I love it. Oof. Man. Well, next chase card. <laughs> Probably Erica's Invitation, I think. Maybe, uh... Ooh, Zapdos. It's all about the Zapdos today, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Maybe the Blastoise as well. I do really love the Blastoise. I mean, I like the Venusaur. Maybe the Charmander. There's so many cards. I want them all. I want all the cards of 151. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm a little bit speechless right now. I love this set. I love it. I don't know if I'm going to get bored of it anytime soon. And like what? Paradox Rift is out in two weeks. A little less than two weeks now when this video drops. Um... I don't know. I'm, I was actually talking to Anthony at TCG and games just this morning before recording this. And like, what do you all think about Paradox Rift? I actually think the artwork in it from what I've seen so far looks really, really awesome. And yet I think the timing of it is really terrible. Like we have 151. It's only been out for a month, so it, it'll have been out for six weeks by the time Paradox Rift comes out, uh, which is not a crazy long time. And I don't know. I just I'm really torn on it. I don't know how it's going to do. I, I kind of think that it might be a little bit of a bust, even though the artwork is really, really cool in it. And so, yeah. Anthony at TCG and Games actually said he thinks it might be the Rebel Clash of uh, of Scarlet and Violet. So I hope not, but I'm still really looking forward to opening it. Um, I was actually just playing the the Switch game, like Scarlet and Violet, yesterday or this weekend, I guess. And uh, like I d I just beat it finally. I went to like the Area Zero or whatever it's called in the crater um but i don't know like there's ooh, that's a good sign the fire energy there's something that's like i don't love the ancient and the future pokemon and like the iron i don't know it's just it's kind of weird i don't know if i love it this is the last pack so here's our last shot at a card nada but it doesn't really make any difference we got three hollow energies an illustration rare, that is a really nice one. A regular EX card. And then the chase card that I actually told you was the chase card. Absolutely ridiculous. Fire energy, metal energy, water energy, 
the Zapdos EX. The Zapdos Special Illustration Rare EX. What a gorgeous card that is. And the Charmeleon. Like, that's some fire right there, let me tell you. That's going to do it for me at the Poke Office. Appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure you hit all the buttons. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, share it, blah, 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 you know. But that's going to enter you to win uh, the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. As soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers, we're going places. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Till my next video. Peace.